One of the great things about the vector equation of a line is that the same equation applies in two dimensions as in three dimensions. So that's our goal today is to come up with equations for lines in three dimensions. In three dimensions the vector equation is the same as in 2D. Here's a picture of a line in 3D. Uh, all we need to know is the position vector of one point on the line and a direction vector that indicates the direction of the line. And then the equation for the line will be r, vector r, equals r0 plus some constant times v, the direction vector. So all we need is one position vector and a direction vector, and we can get the equation of a line. Let's see an example. <clears throat> Find the vector and parametric equations of the line through point A, 2, 3, 1, and B, 5, 4, 6. And I've drawn the line here. <clears throat> I have to define a point P. This is just going to be a random point on the line, and this will give me my R0, or sorry, my R, my vector R. And I'm going to make this vector R0. You can actually go with either A or B, but I'm going to go with uh, point A. So point A is going to give me my, my R0. So remember, the equation is R equals R0 plus T times V. <clears throat> so I need to come up with the components for all of these vectors. Now vector R is going to have components the same as the coordinates of this point, X, Y, and Z. And R0 will have components the same as point A. So R0 is 2, 3, 1. But we need a direction vector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define vector AB as the direction vector. So it's nice to have that second point. You really need it. And so V is going to be 5 minus 2, 3, 4 minus 3, 1, and 6 minus 1, Five. That's our direction vector. And then our equation becomes x, y, z equals, and our zero was 2, 3, 1, plus t times the direction vector 3, 1, 5. <clears throat> this is the vector equation for our line. Now what are the parametric equations? Well remember, just like in two dimensions, you can find the parametric equations by isolating each component. So for example, so these are the parametric equations. Parametric x equals 2 plus 3 times t. y equals 3 plus 1 times t. And z, z equals 1 plus 5 times t. And that's it. These are the parametric equations. They come right out of the vector equation. So when you're asked to find both the vector equation and the parametric equations, it's really not that much harder, not much harder just to go ahead and write the parametric equations down. So that's it. If you know two points on a line, you can come up with the vector and parametric equations of the line.